week's lesson is going to be on rounding whole numbers and decimals. First, we're going to look at the flow map for the steps for rounding whole numbers. The first step is underline the place you are rounding to. Then look at the digit to the right. If it is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, add 1 to the underlying digit. If it is less than 5, or 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, leave the underlying digit alone. Copy everything to the left down. Turn everything to the right to zeros. These are the steps for rounding whole numbers. Now let's look at the steps for rounding decimals. the place value you are rounding to. So this is the same as for whole numbers. For decimals, we're going to box it in. And there's a reason for this that I'll explain later when we're doing examples. So box it in. Look at the digit to the right of the underlying digit. If it is 5 or more, or 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, add 1 to the underlying digit. If it is less than 5, or 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, leave it alone. Copy everything to the left down and stop. No zeros. You do not add zeros to decimals. Now we're going to give you some examples. Okay, now we're going to do a little practice with rounding decimals and whole numbers.
state trial. I'm going to put a problem up here. I'm going to pause for about 10 to 15 seconds, let you work on it, and I'll show you the correct answer. Make sure you follow your flow map steps. Here we go. Number one, 18,567,425. We're rounding to the 10,000 place. Let's try a decimal. 7 and 2,385 ten thousandths. We're rounding to the tenths place. Your answer is 7 and 2 tenths. Notice that there is no digits written past the underlying digit for a decimal. However, for the whole numbers, everything past the underlying digit is all turned into zeros. That's the only difference between the two. Let's try this one. 245,698. We're going to round to the 100th spot. Try nine and four hundred sixty-eight thousandths. We're going to round to the hundredth spot. And your answer should be nine and forty-seven hundredths. Two more. Seven and nine hundred fifty-seven thousandths. We're going to round to the tenth spot. Nice job. This is rounding decimals and whole numbers.